we're going to look now at these guys and their opinions on should you buy Bitcoin. I think these guys, again, just like Mr. Buffett, they're missing it. They don't understand what's really happening. They don't really understand the mindset of people, why they're trading it, why they think it's important. And they're completely missing the use cases. Even if Bitcoin did nothing other than be an alternative to fiat currency, that could be enough. That could be enough, quite honestly, because people don't want to believe in these systems or they, they don't believe in these systems and they don't want these systems messing with their money anymore. Leave me alone. In this, they asked three investors uh, what their opinions were on Bitcoin, what they're doing. I thought this was important so we can read through kind of where their mindsets are. Did I? Uh... So yeah, so look at this. One year ago, a single Bitcoin was worth $5,800. $5,800, dude. Today, it's 57000 you guys would have listened to me a year ago. Come on, man. Guys, I'm trying, I'm trying to wake you up. Incredible gains. All right. So first guy, Keith Noonan, he says, I love a great brand story. Uh, he says, never, I've never been particularly bullish on Bitcoin and will readily admit that I've been completely wrong. Duh. Does that mean that I'm ready to go on board with the hot cryptocurrency? Nope. He's still not on it. He's still not seeing it. Uh, he says, it's certainly possible that Bitcoin will continue to put up stellar returns and everyone has seen big gains thus far. Should be thrilled and proud of the results. The cryptocurrency has performed spectacularly and stands as one of the best performing assets of all time. That said, I won't be purchasing Bitcoin anytime soon because I struggle to understand the bull case for it. So this is him. He just doesn't get it. He really doesn't get it. He's probably making money. I don't, I don't understand how these guys in finance cannot see what's going on with the government printing. Shit. Just brr, money printer goes brr. Uh, is Bitcoin practical currency of value storing? Is it a speculative investment that could continue to see massive gains? So yeah, it's kind of, he, he he's saying that, oh, you know, people saying that it, that asset has all three of those characteristics that he's talking about can't be real, but it, but it does. It is a store of value. It, it is speculative because people are thinking that people are going to more people are going to get involved and it's going to grow and it's going to boom because it's 21 limited 21 million coins 7 billion people on the planet you do the math with thousands of other cryptocurrencies already on the market more getting in on the game each day i just don't see the comparative value in bitcoin's open source blockchain technology particularly when other cryptocurrencies offer faster transaction times and lower processing fees he's 100 percent correct with this he is not wrong with this there you go with thousands of other competitors. So there's a lot of other competitors. He's correct. And some of them are faster and better than Bitcoin, but Bitcoin's Bitcoin. People talk about Bitcoin. People know Bitcoin. When is Bitcoin going to be seen as not as big as some other coin? I don't know. It's going to take time. It's going to take time and performance when people start using it. Right now, Bitcoin is a tag. Bitcoin, hear that. That's the play. In 10 years, I mean, you have to have mass adoption first. When mass adoption happens, then you'll be able to see if Bitcoin stays number one. But until mass adoption happens and everybody has a, a some kind of crypto wallet on their phone, like if you walk down the street and nine out of 10 people don't have crypto on their phone, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. At a certain point, it, we will get there and then those prices are going to settle. And then you're going to start seeing the battle between which cryptocurrency is actually better to use or easier to use. But I think that's down the line. That's way down the line. It's not going to happen right away. Uh, right now, Bitcoin is the name and people are going to use Bitcoin until something super bad happens to Bitcoin. All right. James Brumley. What a fun name. Come on, Brumley. Woo me with your words. Uh, this is a question that merits a clear definition of the word buy. If you are talking about taking advantage of short term swings in the cryptocurrency's prices, I'm not an advocate of speculative trading, but certainly it's possible. If you're interested in talking about a long term stake in Bitcoin as you would a blue chip stock or a commodity, that's a hard no due to one glaring risk. There is no limit to the supply of them, wrecking the whole supply versus demand thing necessary to create price stability. So this, I don't know if he's mistake, if he's confused, like Bitcoin is limited, but if he means like, oh, you can just keep making new coins, true. But like, you'd have to sway people into using it. It would have to be a better coin. And I don't see that as a bad thing. If somebody comes up with a better form of currency and I can use something that makes my life easier and it's better, then they should do that. That's what happened here. People were like, you know what? Fiat dollar is bullshit. I don't want to f with it anymore. Let's create something new. And they did. I don't think there's a problem with that. He sees a problem with that because I think it disrupts the way he makes money, his survival. We, we break things down into SNR, survival reproduction on this show a lot. And I think he's, his survival's threatened right there. 
Uh, he says, yes, the number of Bitcoins that can ever be mined is finite. Oh, okay, so let's get that. Bitcoin isn't the only crypto out there, though. Do Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Cardano are others that came after Bitcoin and more are sure to follow. And then you see on the side of the, uh, the, the page here, there's an advertisement. You can click on these things. They're showing you the ones they talk about. This almost sounds like a, they're actually advertising because <laughs> you're going to click on these things and maybe buy these things. This is like some kind of new genius marketing right now. Uh, all right. And then David Butler, governments won't tolerate it. Obviously, it would be a fallacy to say that you cannot make any money from cryptocurrencies. You can. I own a very, very small position in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, but this is more akin to a gambling investing, gambling than investing. Okay. Yeah. Well, there is an inherent high level of risk involved as pointed out above. And all the biggest thing that I can think investors and traders need to keep in mind is that there's further this goes the more world governments will feel the back they will but so <laughs> if you buy now and you get an 800 percent increase in your investment do you give a fuck do you give a fuck that that the government's looking at it you're gonna have to report it anyways they're looking at all your finances and they're looking at everything you make anyways so what and Oh, well, if it gets too popular, then the governments, they're going to tax you on it. Yeah, like every fucking thing else. Get the fuck out of here. It's such a stupid, it's such a stupid argument. Well, the government, well, the government is going to not like it. Well, gives a shit. We're going to do it anyways. Government's going to have to adapt. And it's money. And it actually makes it easier for them to track your finances. I mean, I think it's a better system, but it, it, you give up a lot of uh, privacy and the government's going to be able to see where you're spending your money. Everybody, a lot of people are going to be able, you know, they might be able to find out your wallet address and then see where all your expenses go. They'll find out if you're, if you're buying porn or whatever, <laughs> because like, it's going to be linked. This is the future. There's going to be downsides to this crypto too, because they are going to be able to look at you. Other people, you might have stalkers and people who are going to be able to look at where you're spending money. You might have to change your wallets all the time because people are looking at shit. You got to be responsible and not lose your cold storage wallets. Your fire, fire burns your house down and burns up all your Bitcoin. Oops, there's going to be problems, but I think this is just the direction we're going to move to. All right, so those are the guys and their opinions on the Bitcoins and Bitcoin investment at this time. And I think that they're just a little misguided. They don't really get it. They make money a different way. They don't care if it's made whichever way. So I don't know. I think a lot of how they make money and how everybody makes money is directly tied to your, your survival. And if that's threatened in any way, you're going to defend it. 